Okay, Alex, uh, hard luck today, you know, tough game in the rain. How did it go? You know, it, it's the defending champs, so all credit to them. They came out and deserved the win, but I think we had a lot of positives to build on, and we should make no mistake about it. We're, we're competing, and we're excited for IBM and excited for the playoffs, but this has been a building project from day one, so we'll take the positives, build on those, and, and correct the negatives, and you know, nothing happens overnight. How did the second half compare to the first half? Felt like you got a little bit more going after the yeah, break? Yeah, I think we got some grooves, uh, and we, we started moving the ball a little bit. Credit to our offensive line and, and some substitutions. I think Fujitsu had some pressures that we weren't ready for, didn't pick up very well in the first half. But uh, we got some stuff figured out, changed the attack a little bit, got the ball out a little bit quicker, and started getting in the groove a little bit, which is something in two weeks to build on against IBM. So what, what are the kind of adjustments did you make there at halftime? You said you started getting the ball out quicker. Did you switch up anything else? Well, we changed. We had our protection scheme tweaked a little bit and tried to get the running back involved a little bit. Um, the way they were bringing pressure, it was tough for us to slide and pick it up. So we essentially made the choice that if we can't pick it up, we might as well not keep the back in protection. So we'll get him out and add a receiver. And you know, It helped us overall. We still had some, some issues with it early on. You know, the defending champs and hard to block. It felt, I don't know, just watching the game, it felt like you were a little bit more aggressive in the second half, a little bit more long plays or, you know, uh, more assertive play calling. Was that the case? Well, I, we didn't change anything as, as far as coming down from the box within the staff, as far as I know. At least I did. I wasn't told about it. That was more of a decision on the field with DK and myself and a couple other people that I'm going to try to push the ball down the field a little bit. And in the rain, when it's wet, you know, it's not as pretty as you want, but at that point in time, you know, Donnie is arguably as talented as anybody else in the, co in the, in the league, so we got to get the ball in his hands. So now you've played five games in Japan. Uh, how did it match your expectations coming in? We talked to you a lot early in the season, but now you've had most of the regular season over. So, Yeah, you know, Japan has been phenomenal, and, and the X League is, I think, um, when, it, when it comes to American-style football, after the NFL, it's the best in the world. And I'm happy to be here. I want to be here for a long time. And... It's really exciting for me to get up every day and go to work, uh, not only in Japan with my the work that I do, but with challengers because we're, we're trying to get back. Anytime you're building something from scratch, it's hard, but we have history that we're working on. And there's so many great models with Fujitsu and Ovik and, and people that we can look at that we're excited about it. So obviously there's a unique challenge then being a quarterback because so much communication is involved compared to other uh, positions on the field. We'll say Brazil, obviously, was a Portuguese-speaking country and Sweden is a Sweden-speaking country, Swedish-speaking country, sorry, um, which has been the most difficult of the three to well, work with communication. Well, absolutely the most difficult to get adjusted to, um, obviously with Katakana and Hiragana and Kanji, and, and you start from, from zero. And I always meet you know, coaches, kids, players, kids, and they know more Japanese than I do, and they're three, so it's embarrassing. But uh, I, I think that when you look at communication and Japan especially, this is why the teams at the top, the, the Obix and the Fujitsus, especially with quarterbacks and players, Colby's been here, what, six years? Kevin's been here longer than that. Devin's having success in his second. This is why quarterbacks that come here and are successful stay year after year after year, and that's what I'm trying to do. So you're trying to build a project for the long term then Absolutely. with the challengers? This is, uh, you know, this is not hopefully a one-year wonder. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to year two and year three as, as we continue to grow together. And, you know, KJ is obviously the staple as an American. He, if he can do it as a defensive end, hopefully my body holds up. Well, obviously, yeah, next year and the year after are going to be big, but uh, the immediate future of IBM, yes, uh, very different team from Fujitsu, very different kind of defense. Uh, how are you going to prepare for them, or what are the unique challenges that we'll say that they bring? Well, with IBM, as with any team, you have to look at them with a fresh start because they're completely different. Obviously, we're going against another quality American quarterback, um, and, and that defensive front that IBM has is phenomenal. So we're going to have to game plan different ways. Uh, I couldn't have more respect for Kubo-san. You know, what he does with our defense and our special teams, our head coach, you know, he – He's custom made to be a head coach in Japan or anywhere. So I, I think our defensive staff, our special teams will do fine. And offensively, we'll look at it like a new challenge and see what we can come up with. Is it difficult going against such big defensive linemen as, we'll say, James Brooks and Charles Tuak? I mean, they got the height as well. You're a pretty tall quarterback, we'll say, for Japan anyway. But guys like that, you know, getting the ball over the line is going to be difficult, right? Well, it's going to be tough. It's going to be its own challenge. Those are great players. 
But we're phenomenally blessed to have guys like Noda, who didn't unfortunately play today, and Krokawa-san, who are all Japanese tackles. You know, when I first got here, I walked out there and saw those two. They look like they're at Panthers training camp. I mean, they're, they're great guys. So we'll, we'll figure some stuff out in the middle and let those guys do what they do on the outside. And I think we match up. And we'll, we'll see what happens. We're excited about it. Thanks to me, Alex. Hope uh, you have success next week uh, and in the pleasure. years to come. Thank you for all you guys do. Thank, Thank you. you, sir.